hi guys and welcome back to my channel and today's video is a q and a so for the past month i think or maybe about two or three weeks i asked you guys what questions do you have for me and you guys posted a lot of questions so today i will be answering them so the first question i have is from a studying senior and she asked what's my favorite subject um my favorite subject has to be physics and math primarily um calculus and algebra so for me i don't like memorization because i don't have the capacity to memorize that well and i like lessons or yeah i like lessons that involve more understanding base so as you can see in physics you don't just memorize the formula you have to analyze it know why the formula is like that and apply it so yeah and that goes the same way with calculus and algebra there's no memorization in that you just have to know what the concept is and then you have to know how to do it and how to apply it next question is from life with mags and she asked me who's your favorite professor at hogwarts um my favorite professor has got to be either professor mcgonagall or professor flitwick i like flitwick because he He's like very energetic and he has a passion for teaching his subject and if you don't know what he teaches, he teaches charms in Hogwarts so he, he teaches it with so much passion and I like that kind of teacher because this is the kind of teachers we are lacking nowadays. They are just teaching us with monotone and that makes me bored and I want to sleep in that class. Um, The next... Um, Professor McGonagall, I like her because one, she's a badass, two, she knows what she's teaching, and three, she's very like kind to students and patient with them like Flitwick. So I really can't choose between them, but my two favorite professors at Hogwarts are Flitwick and McGonagall. The next question is from Isla Mae Johnson and she asked me, how do you stay productive? So before I say this, let me just give you a disclaimer. Not every day am I productive. There are some days where I'm just lazy and just binge watch or just sleep all day. But there are other days where at least I'm productive like if you have finals coming, so you really have to be productive. So I stay productive by doing work like one hour, then taking 10 minute breaks. So I normally do that. Um, I watch study with me videos only one before starting work because if not, I would just be watching study with me videos the whole day and not get anything done. Um, the third one, I think, is to at least have a walk or exercise between your um, studying because it just helps you be more energetic and this will give you like more energy to at least put effort and do your studying. And lastly, is I stay productive by getting enough sleep because if you have enough sleep, you won't be tired and fall not and not fall asleep during your study period. The next question is from Life with Mags, and she also asked me, "What sports do you do?" So my main sport is swimming. I've been doing that since around five years old. Um, I joined the swimming team when I was in grade seven, but. I decided to quit that when I was in grade 8 because of the more rigorous lo load of academic work I had to do. So when I was grade 7, I was in the honors classes for math and science. And 
as my as like I go from grade seven to grade eight, the load just got more rigorous, and the swimming team required me to stay for at least f- or go there for four times a week, which means I cannot really go there. And I noticed I've been being absent. I only go there like twice a week, so I just like quit it. But every weekend I still do swimming, like Saturday, Sunday. And of course, during the summer, I will also do more swimming since I have more time to make it up during the school year. Um, other sports I also do, but these aren't often. Um, I do ping pong. Um, I do badminton, and I do running. So the next question is from. Ryan Adele and I hope I got her name right or a he because I had to translate that from Arabic since I don't know how to read Arabic but anyway um her question to me are her questions sorry are me to me are how old are you and where are you from so I'm currently 16 years old I'm turning 17 this October 23 and I am from the Philippines. And if you don't know where the Philippines is, um, it's in Southeast Asia. And you can look it up on the internet if you want to know more about the Philippines. And the next question is from Channel R. And she said, how to study maths, please? And... I don't know if this is a request or a question, but if this is a request, then of course I am planning to do a how to study maths, but I just don't know when I will be able to post it, but I have already started to do this how to study maths video. The next question is from Andrea Letizia Paz Gomez, and she asked me, what was your inspiration to start the channel? Um, I think my inspiration was with the study tuber community. So I first got to watch Ruby Green Jerry's videos. Um, I watched her Harry Potter once one day because it was in my suggested videos. Since at that time I like Harry Potter videos and anything about Harry Potter. So naturally, it just came into my suggested videos. And then after I watched Ruby Granger's Harry Potter videos, I subscribed to her and, sorry, um, one day I got a notification that Ruby Granger made a study with me video. And naturally, I was curious to what that is. So I clicked it and I watched it. So, like, after that, I didn't know there was a whole new side of YouTube to that. And the more I watched Ruby Granger's videos, the more I got introduced to other study tubers like Anjay the Jade, Eve Bennett, Eve Cornwell, um, Jack Edwards, um, even the smaller study tubers like Evie Flynn, Life Food Mags, AH Studying Senior, or known as Mimi in her YouTube channel and I think ultimately I started doing YouTube videos the year after I watched Ruby Granger's videos because what my goal with this channel is to like help people be productive, um, give advice to students around the world on um, how to study, or maybe some life advice. So I think the inspiration for me from this channel is the study tuber community. And the last question is from Clark Key, and she said, Granger Productivity, I just wanted to say that I really love your channel, and do you have a studying amino? So, um... Thank you so much, Clarky. And yes, I have a studying amino, and my username is the same as my YouTube name, so it's just Granger Productivity. And the icon picture is just the same, 
as the one in my YouTube channel. So it's just a pink background with Hermione Granger sitting on a stack of books and reading. So guys, thank you so much for watching and I hope you liked this video and I hope you learned a little about me and comment down below if you have any video suggestions for me or some criticisms about my video and how I can improve it. So thank you guys and I hope you guys have a productive day.